What's up everybody, on this video this is going to be the Endura RRR IR40 half truck with plastic body and cage and then we're going to be putting that up against the actual Endura LCG carbon fiber chassis. I Kit. had to shave down one of the channels here as you can see so it used to be exactly like this in the rear, uh, deep C. And then I started messing around with this and I see I'm actually having problems with fitment. I was like, oh snap, the, I might have to, you know, shave the rest of that thing down to make it flush. So that way this bumper for the new chassis will fit. Then I went to the rear and I was trying to put the bolts on and I seen that the channels in the rear might bind up when this closes up. So I figured let me grab the camera videotape this and see what exactly is going to happen so i have the original bolts from the kit from the ir40 kit to put in here and i'm going to try to do that right now so we're going to line these up fit that in it's not funny i can see better on my confidence monitor than i can see in real life so that my head doesn't get in the way so i got one screw there's going to be four screws in the back here and if you have this kit it's going to be the mushroom the, the mushroom head screws that are with this kit I'm not screwing them all the way down just in case if I have to remove them right away because like I said I think I have to do some trimming on this so I figured it'd be good if anybody has this kit and is like me and wants to re uh, you know reuse their carbon fiber kit for something else and I thought just it'll just go with the build like it's just such a nice build and everything to have all crazy components on it. So yep, I'm having uh, an issue right here. We're getting bound up. Something's touching. Okay, so the hinge on the top there is touching the wires. So that's not too bad, but it does look like they're to their limit. If you could watch this whole top piece. All right. So what it looks like, nothing is touching in the back. Those four pieces are not touching. Doesn't look like I have to do any trimming. So that's cool. Oh, wait a minute. I just seen something. So let me explain what's going on. This area right here is blurring out. Hold on, give me one second. Let me try to make it focus. There we go. So that area right there right there where the tip of the screwdriver is. Okay, so that C channel piece, now that's me pushing it, closing it. So you see how it's pushing on that piece right there? That C channel piece is pushing on that bump. That bump is the recess for the plastic, so I'm gonna trim. I'm gonna trim the top back pieces, and how I'm gonna do that is basically cutting, I'm gonna straight up cut it, with a wire cutter. Um, carbon fiber is very uh, finicky. People say not to, to you don't want to saw, saw it or you don't want to make it particles where it's like sanding it down and everything. I do do that, but I do it outside. So just for the premise of the video, I'm just going to cut this off instead of trying to sand it down. So I'm going to just line up my wire cutters. I'm going to cover it. Because they say don't let the particles get in the air. You see I have that trim, that piece trimmed. All right. So I do have um, some files. I'm going to file that down and flatten that out. But like I said, just for the premise of this video, this thing is going to be long already. So I'm going to go on to the other side. Line that up. Cover it. We don't have that issue at all. Now... I should have showed you this from the beginning. Now the frame is going all the way up against this in the front. Before I was pushing it, 
and that was causing that weird flex in the back here. So now you can hear me push it down. There's no flex. All right, so we're good to go. We're going to tighten up those bolts. And later on, when I get a chance to go outside or something, I'm going to file that down with a uh, with one of my files. All right, so now we're going to tackle the front end. So now what do we need to do here? I think I'm going to have to cut that and file it or something in the same manner. This thing is weird. I'm not feeling that too much because it puts it on an angle. So that does have to either get cut or filed off. Like I said for the video, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it on an angle this way. So leaning back and everything. Sweet. So the holes lining up. So you're most likely going to have to cut these two tabs off. Unfortunately. This is going to be completely up to you because it's going to be your, you know, your stuff. If you're going to dedicate this frame to this truck, then I say go ahead. If you are indecisive and probably going to switch the frame back, just be wary that um, if you cut these off, it might not, it might not accept the old connection pieces properly. All right, so we're good there. Let's put the bolts in. So I'm going to take four of those mushroom head bolts that come with the IR40 kit. Again, so one. So you got to keep in mind that this frame was designed before this body came out. So if it doesn't fit, I mean, I understand, you know, it wasn't designed for it. I'm not concerned with that feature on this particular truck due to the fact that I have another truck coming in, another build coming in on order straight from Endura's website. The first time I ever ordered directly from their website. And it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big order. I'm kind of nervous and everything. Um, I know I have to wait. I'm trying to be, I'm going to try to be as patient as I can. All right. So we have this lined up moment of truth. Oh, we have full contact on the actual clip so the frame is fitting it looks good in there oh that's gonna look wicked carbon fiber okay so i hope this video just helped you guys out real quick i just turned on the, the camera just to record this to see we got perfect fitment in the front if you guys can see that it's locking on and releasing great i did have to make those modifications to get it you can make it flat and you don't have to cut it curved the way I did. I just thought I did. But it doesn't look bad. It still looks good. So it has clearance throughout everything on the inside. Nothing else is, is binding or hitting, hitting up. So I hope this video helped you guys out. This truck is going to sit here like this for a little bit. I have axles for it. I do not have suspension for it or a transmission yet. So I gonna have to see what I want to build. I have red struts that I could put on it, but I don't want to put red with this color. I don't like that. So subscribe if you guys want to keep up with this IR40 build that I have in here. And I do have another IR40 coming with a whole bunch of crazy performance parts. That truck is going to be sick. I put more thought into that one than I did this one. This one I just bought real quick off the whim. So with that being said, my name is Hugo. Thank you guys for watching. Later.